How old are you? 34. Where are you from? Germany. What do you think men at 34 are going for? Women your age or are they going for the younger girls? Well, from my own experience, they think they want somebody my age. Somebody who's a professional, who has a career, who has their own mind. But they then sort of want to form you into somebody who's maybe more, you know, I, want to, I don't know the word in English. I want to say shapeable. They feel like you're stuck in your ways and they're looking for a woman who they can show the world to. But you've already seen it. That's a very positive way to put it, yes. I think there's a lot of trying to influence the way that especially young women um, carry themselves and I think at a certain age you've already seen a lot, you've done a lot, especially you know if you're a professional you don't need somebody's money, you just take a lot less shit from people. So at 34 what are you looking for in your man now? Uh, that's the thing, I'm looking for a man. I keep on meeting boys. What made you think your ex was a boy? Oh no, he wasn't a boy. What I'm saying is that now in the dating life in Miami, I'm meeting a lot of boys. Instead of I guess the question that I would have is, if your ex wasn't a boy, then why aren't you still with him? That's what I'm curious, right? If, if you're meeting a lot of boys in Miami, um, according to what she's saying, and it's a whole lot of red flags just in a one minute clip. I mean, a ton of red flags and we're going to get there. But the first question that I would have is... Based off of what she's communicating, she's basically saying that everybody is not built for it. But at the same time, her ex wasn't wasn't a boy. And I guess that he was the thing that she defined that she wanted. So why is she not w still with him? Right. We never going to find that part out, but we can speculate. Uh, moving forward, though. Uh, secondly, the second red flag is she said that she's 34 from Germany. All right. So, fellas, it's very important to note and it's very important to pay attention to the idea that uh, this Western mindset is spreading all over the world. And so now just because you got your passport doesn't mean that you actually outrunning these. You're not outrunning a tsunami. You know what I'm saying? So the tsunami is coming uh, regardless of whether or not you get in your passport. So now, right, let's think about it. It's almost like the women in yesteryear in America. Uh, I hear a lot of guys say that they were different than what they are today. Okay, fair enough. We'll accept that point. The other side of that is, okay, well, we're going to get our passport. Well, I see a lot of women in different countries or from different countries uh, that then get here that has said, hey, I've seen the world and I'm looking for something different. Or I'll give you another one, right? Women that are from a different country then get here, right? And then they evolve to be something different, even within their lifetime. It didn't happen you know, in the children's lifetime that come after it, it's within their lifetime and then they, they realize that they can do something a little bit different or they get indoctrinated based off of the culture that they immerse themselves in and then they evolve to, to the point to where they become modern women. You see what I'm saying? So the tsunami is happening because now we live in a global, um, it's global competition now and the technology has afforded us to be able to see what's happening over there and they, they seeing what's happening over there, over here. And so, you know, it's changing, it's evolving to a point to where you can't really outrun it because the mentality is being spread all throughout the world, especially with regard to how women see things and feminism and so on and so forth. Right. All right. So let's 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 mine out another red flag. Right. She's 34, but she keeps saying young women. I'm not going to kid you like body wise and everything like that. She looks good. You know what I'm saying? She looks decent or whatever, so on and so forth. I don't know what she looked like when you turn around from the back, but she looks decent. Obviously, she's in shape and everything like that. But what makes you think that 34 is young, right? At 34, if you're not married as a woman, I'm not going to say you a throwaway, but you pretty much become tainted by all of the different experiences and relationships and men that you've been with and slept with and the world that you've seen, right? Because traveling the world doesn't also remove you from also saying that you've experienced a lot of men at 34 what makes you think that you're still young because life is a competition and so at 34 she's still competing with somebody that's 24 right and then there's somebody that's coming up behind a 24 year old it's a 19 year old chick that's then gonna you know be 21 22 23 years old and then she's gonna be 40 and you know if it's a competition to actually get the person over the other person that's then I guess, more shapeable as she wanted to frame it, then you already is aged out. You know what I'm saying? And so to have that mentality on top of being 34 and not being even more humble 
considering all of the experiences that you've had, a lot of these women like to stand on their experiences or they like, like, like to stand on their professionalism. And I'm going to just be honest with you. It doesn't necessarily mean that they got money or anything like that, right? You could be a professional or whatever. But a lot of these chicks that may even make money, they in debt up to their eyeballs. And you don't even uncover that until you start to deep dive into, you know what I'm saying, getting involved with her. Because no woman is actually going to tell you, and I don't think men should do it either, but I've seen men recently doing it. No woman is going to tell you that they don't have debt. No woman is going to tell you that, yeah, she may be a professional or she may have leveled up. She might work in HR or something like that that's going to be replaced by artificial intelligence or whatever, but no woman is going to tell you that she got $100,000 in student loan debt or whatever, so on and so forth, until you really start to deep dive and get into a relationship with her, right? So you got to try to mine it out and figure that out in the meantime by taking your context clues. And then last but not least, whenever I hear a woman, and this is one of the biggest red flags, and there's several more, but we just going to hit on these. Last but not least, whenever I hear a woman say, I need a man, and I'm tired of dealing with boys, that means that she is what she attract, and also she thinks that she's better than her circumstances, right? They don't really realize what she's into or what her circumstance is or, you know, what it is that she's facing and that she's just going to continue to get older and more, more of a cat lady and her looks is not going to last forever. And that's the thing about it. It's like, yeah, you can preserve it as long as you want to or as much as you want to. But your looks is not going to last forever, and I would never suggest, regardless of what she looks like, regardless of what market that you're in, I would never suggest a guy to ever put himself in a position to have to deal with a woman like this outside of a casual, casual. When I say casual, I mean very, very casual, a casual thing, whatever that means to you, a very casual thing. But once you start to get into the 30s, it don't matter what she looked like. And if you look in the comments on some of these videos... It's actually a reflection of what a lot of women think like. And so this mindset has affected us or infected us in a very negative way. And that women think that they're more desirable than they really are. But I would bet you, I would bet you also on top of that, that this woman also, also had this mindset and this mentality way before she got 34. She's had this mentality since she was 25, 26, 27 year old. Somebody always pumped her up and told her that she was better than what she is. They never humbled her. They never told her that she wouldn't be that that deal and that she's not actually better than men. She's probably the type of woman that's looking for a partner. And so it's red flags all over this thing. But she do look good. She, I think she's worthy of, a, of being a casual friend with, but I don't think that she's worthy. She doesn't have the mentality of a woman that I would say is marriage marriage minded. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Let me know in the comments of what y'all think. Make sure y'all tap into the Patreon link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Also make sure you get that teach Hanley 30% off your first order plus a free gift. Walk away. Be very careful of what you then subject yourself to and do not deal with a woman that leads with her career, her experiences, her professionalism, because all of those things are red flag and it's not the sentiment of what men are looking for in wives. Let me know what y'all think. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.